Hello and welcome to Cargo Creations. If you're a first time viewer, please hit the subscribe button to follow us on our endeavors at uh, making the Magic Kingdom Park and Resort area completely out of Lego. And um, we also have some other projects that we do on the channel. Um, so take a look at the video library and catch us on Instagram and TikTok as well. Uh, but for you regular subscribers, welcome back. Uh, today's video, we're going to talk about the Peter Pan ride. Now, I've gotten the new uh, mini um, set of uh, Peter Pan, and I have mocked it up with the uh, ride vehicle. And I did a poll recently. We are going to make the Peter Pan ride, and this is uh, the ride vehicle there. And uh, we're going to talk about that in a second here, but we wanted to uh, take a look at the Christmas decorations for this year because we're about to take those down. So I thought I'd give you guys uh, a viewing of Main Street and take one last little look at the uh, Christmas decorations that we had up this year. So... Uh, if we look here at the Grand Floridian, we do have the uh, gingerbread house there. And there's a Christmas tree there. Um, I'm going to go relatively fast, I guess, to take a look at some of these things. So we can get to the, the uh, Peter Pan ride there. Um, we did have some um, decorations in the uh, Contemporary, uh, but those are out right now. But we do have one of the additions, if you haven't caught one of the videos that we had, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we have the rooms now and the, the doors up in the hotel. There's the Mary Blair mosaic, if you haven't been with us. And there's the other side there. We've got a Christmas tree out front here in front of the contemporary. Um, we also have the, the, we still have the 100 year sign. We've got some greenery around that. And we've got a lot of, we put all the reeves up on the, uh, the train station there. And if you didn't catch our lighting video, take a look in the catalog and you can, you can see um, a whole video on uh, the lighting of the park. We do have that main Christmas tree there right behind the Roy and Minnie statue. I know they move that statue around a lot, but I like it right there in the middle. I like that at the front of the park and then towards the middle there in front of the castle, I like Walt and Mickey and the partner statue. But I'm going to get around, if you guys can see here, I can pull this table out here and I can get closer to Main Street USA. So let's take a look, kind of squeeze by here. Let's get behind here and get some closer views. Some people were asking for some closer views and I thought I'd do it before we got the Christmas decorations uh, put away and then I'll do it, obviously I will do it again when we, uh, when we get it all cleaned up and back to the normal state there. And we've got some carolers here if I can get a little bit down there we've got Ahsoka Tana and we've got some caroling going on right there and we've got another set of carolers right in front of that and then I think we have oh no I've already changed the uh, main street I tried to fill it in as much as I could with uh, minifigures um, and as you can see here we're pretty packed down main street there I know there's still some gaps in there um, I get a lot of comments about it needs to be busier needs to be busier yeah, it's hard to, to take all the minifigures from all the other areas of the park to put them in there too, because I don't want to not populate the other areas. Uh, but uh, I did try to get as much as I could. We've got some, we've got Jar Jar down there. And yes, I use a lot of the IPs uh, because they're just, uh, you know, you have a lot of sets in that. And so you get those uh, Stormtroopers and you get the uh, all the Marvel minifigures and that and you want to use them in the mock there, so I just put them as meet and greets or just that they're in the park. We've got the um, the Rees up there, and then we have um, one of the floats that we have. We did do a, uh, a, a Christmas parade. You can catch that on another video as well, where we have uh, Minnie and Daisy uh, ice skating. Uh, I'm one of the older um, ice skating sets that I made into a float. But I also made the... Uh, the Santa Claus and reindeer into a float there going over a, a house. And um, we've got that at that area there. Oh, we've got the Star Wars crew as carolers in front of uh, that as well. Um, so, and if you can take a peek behind, we've got a lot of the, the minifig uh, prince and princesses in the back there as well. So I wanted to give you that view here. Let's get down a little closer here. We can get down into Main Street 
You've got um, Steamboat Willie uh, going on in the, uh, the theater. We'll take a look at that here. Still going on in there in the theater. And this kind of gives you a nice view standing in this area of down towards the resorts. And then back down towards the castle there. So if you haven't been with us before, obviously we have Adventureland back there and Liberty Square area. And we've got, uh, we are continuing to work on Splash Mountain. I just saw some of the recent pictures of that re-theme and they've got a lot more foliage. And I knew that was gonna happen. So I do have the, I'm gonna zoom in there. I do have the uh, tower up, but I need to get a lot more greenery. We've got some greenery on the, um, the, the, uh, the barn that you go through. And on top there, we're gonna work with that rock work and um, some of the grass on the top of that as well. So a couple trees added, but uh, that's still under construction over there as it is down at the park there. So we're working on that as well, the re-theme. We're trying to make it so we can revert back and forth so we can get some images of Splash Mountain, the classic, um, and the new ride that's gonna be pretty exciting too. Uh, we've got Thunder Mountain back there. We do have the can peek around there. There's a haunted mansion. I'm reaching a lot, obviously. And then I did place um, um, Ariel's uh, ride, uh, Journey of the Little Mermaid. I placed that moth back there. We'll take a look at that another day there. Uh, but uh, we've got the mine train there, and we've got the Dumbo, two Dumbos there. And here into Tomorrowland here, and the People Mover. There's a people mover. We've got Tron. And we've even got the last scene of um, the Carousel of Progress there. So all on our videos, um, if you want to check those out, um, we really appreciate you checking those out. Leaving comments, tell me what you think. Um, I did move uh, Space Mountain up here. I had to move that up to accommodate for me getting in there so I can get closer to uh, Main Street there. But let's go back to... Um, the uh, Peter Pan mock that I'm working on. And obviously I used a set that uh, you get, you know, the Lego set. Um, and I think it's really cool. It's a really neat set. Um, and what I did was I added my own uh, flair to it. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make the entire, um, uh, we'd like to make the entire ride. We are gonna use these materials in here. I've got some ideas of how to, light it up and some things that we're gonna do. And then what I've done here is I've made a, I'm gonna put this right here and I'll get more detail of the ride vehicle there as well. But I've made a, just a little mock of the, um, the, um, the ride uh, mechanics here. So I'll show you that in a second there. I'm gonna get um, my camera set up so I can have uh, hands on uh, fully with this mock here. All right, and here we go. Um, I've got this uh, little camera holder here, and um, this is the uh, ride vehicle that I made for the uh, Peter Pan ride. And a lot of people have been asking me about instructions in that. I will try to get some instructions out. I am still trying to get instructions for the monorail created. Um, I've uh, since uh, the beginning, I made monorail blue. That's over there across the park there. And then I've got monorail red right here. And I made a few improvements on monorail red. I'm going to go with that for the instructions, but I'm still trying to work on those. And then um, with the Peter Pan uh, ride vehicle here, I just, uh, I, and like I do with all my rides, uh, my mocks, I just sit down and, uh, and make them from either memory or uh, images uh, that we have from the, the park itself. So um, I did... Um, use some pieces, um, some boat pieces. You can kind of see, um, you can kind of tell to get that shape of the, the ship itself. I wanted to have the two sails there, which um, I think worked out really good. And um, the light on the back, uh, we've got some gingerbread on the sides here with some of those elements. It's not perfect, but uh, if you've obviously you guys that work with Lego, you know that uh, you, you don't have the perfect pieces. You try to make, uh, you know, you create the mock to uh, fit as good as you can. And I think it turned out really good. I'm excited about it. Um, I did try to make it. I wanted to make it so it was just like 
the um, the ride itself so it does hang uh, using this uh, bracket system here and what I've done here is I quickly put together um, uh, just mocked up a little bit of a track system here and so what I'm gonna do let's put it in there so what I did was I took some of the roller roller coaster um, roller coaster uh, track and and some tire elements and took or some I guess I should say that the rim elements from the tires and uh, tried to create this uh, system in which you we can fly from the ceiling instead of being on a track on the ground so let's do this all right and there it is it balances pretty good so I don't know depending on the side here now this is a good shot there and I put that little piece there that I put that a little too far so I'm gonna move this up a little bit without taking it apart there we go let's move that up and there we go and so I guess my challenge is that I have to make it so um, I can get this motorized and this will turn up here as it goes along on the track there so already I'm probably gonna have to keep it up in the front like that but that kind of shows how, what I'm working on there, like I said, this was just something I put together real quick. Um, but that's the idea that I have right now to try to get that vehicle going. Um, similar to what they have down there at the park. So I'm going to use the system, like I said, they have here. I love the black and the light blue. And I've got some ideas of how to uh, light that up as well. And these pieces that glow in the dark as well. Um, I really is a neat little set that they they made as well. But I, I like I said, for purposes of a ride, I you got to have the ride vehicle there. So um, hope you guys like that. Um, remember, as I get this off of here, let me get this off and I'll All right. continue. And that's the uh, that's the uh, the mock there of the ride vehicle for Peter Pan. And um, for you first time subscribers. Again, uh, check us out on Instagram and TikTok as well. We like to do a lot of things on there. And um, we also do have a program. If you'd like some photo pass pictures, you can send your uh, minifigures in. They stay in the park here to help populate the park. But um, we will send you some photo pass pictures. There's a PO box. I will put it at the end of this video. And um, we really appreciate you guys subscribing, sharing. Uh, shout us out to anybody that likes Disney and likes Lego. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye now.